Hello everybody. In this video we're going to be looking at raising and securing all of the trusses for the mill shed, um, installing all of the lathing, some people call them girts, um, and putting some sheet metal on. We're raising the trusses with a gym pole that I built that slides over a fork on the tractor it's made out of a 10 foot long piece of five inch channel iron. I've got a couple of eighth inch cables making guy wires that come from the top end of that gym pole back to the headache rack. And those present unique problems in setting these trusses. I've got a brace from wall to wall, keeping those at the same distance apart and we keep having to leapfrog it to stay out of those cables. As we're putting each truss up, we're securing them to the top of the post using some metal brackets that I built. Um, and Once they're secured to the top of the post, then we're adding temporary lathing to the top of the trusses to keep them plumb. The walls are 20 feet apart. The trusses are 27 and a half feet long. There's a six foot overhang on the one side and a foot and a half on the other. As we put each truss up, we're aligning it to a string that runs the length of the ridge. I have five foot centers laid out on both walls so that we know exactly where the truss should be fastened to the walls. I also have temporary lathing pre-marked out with five foot centers so that when we fasten them, the trusses are forced to be plumb. Once we got a few of them up, we put a rat run down the middle and cross bracing at the end to secure the trusses where they couldn't domino over. As I recall, we spent about a day and a half putting all of the trusses up and getting them secured. This would be a really good time to like and subscribe and comment if you want.
we spent two days putting up all the lathing and the fly rafters on one end. It's a pretty slow ordeal. The lowest board is 11 feet off the ground and the highest board is 16 feet. That's a lot of ladder work. Also, trimming all the boards to length, marking centers, and selecting boards that would hold my weight on five foot centers. Hey, if you've stuck with us till now, you might as well go ahead and like and subscribe. And wouldn't you know it, the day I decide to put our metal roof on, the wind blows all day, gusts to 20. I think we would have finished in one day if it hadn't have been for the wind, but we got about three quarters of the way done. We're using bubble wrap underneath the sheet metal to prevent the sheet metal from condensating on the underside. And that's one of the things that produced the biggest challenge in the wind. As soon as we get the walls on this building, we're gonna get the sawmill moved in and get back to doing some sawing. 